Yeah. Yeah. What we're doing here today is we've located a loggerhead turtle nest, and because she did not get far enough up in the dunes, uh, the nest would have gotten washed out by high tides, which we've been having recently. Uh -huh. So, um, Gaffiné has already dug a hole, or a new nest for them, and we're now bringing the eggs up, and we bring them up. We use the gloves because, as I said before, we don't want to contaminate the turtle eggs with any type of bacteria we may be carrying, and at the same time, uh, we don't want to get any salmonella or anything in case there's an egg down there that might be broken and the yolk is free. Now, Dauphiné is bringing them up just like a crane would bring something up. She goes straight down, grabs a hold of it very lightly, brings it straight up, and then straight down. We don't want to move it this way or this way. You don't know side to side or upside down or anyway. Um, these are pretty good size eggs. I would guesstimate probably maybe a hundred. I don't think it's going to be a... How deep will it go? It will go down probably up to the armpit. Wow. And she's already dug a nest up to about her armpit. And then based on how far she goes here, I may have to go back there and put some more sand in it and pack it. Because we don't really want it any deeper than what it originally was. Might not be wide enough, I think. Yeah, I, you got to dig out like the bottom chamber. Females are on the top, males are on the bottom. Alligators are the reverse. Huh. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, well, we know in the turtle kingdom, females rule. Right? Turtle is developing at this at this area of the net, of the egg, and the yolk is on the bottom. If we were to turn it over, the yolk would fall on the developing turtle and it would not develop. That's why we have to keep it oriented the same way, up and down. And you don't want to. Difference in length of crawl. Cats eat uh, crabs, they love blue crabs. They'll eat whelks. They've got a very strong jaw. Mm -hmm. And they can clamp down that jaw and break a whelk and eat the snail inside. So uh, they, they primarily, and they also like jelly. Yeah, so let's put in some of this hard soil back right. in. Now, when, when these little hatchlings grow up, they will come back uh, to this area. The females will to nest. The males never come back on shore. Four. Oh my gosh, four. Number four. Awesome. Mary, thank you very much for coming. <laughs> yeah, for helping me. Put an R down here for relocated. There you go. Very good. Hey. Yeah. Field by the sea, which is the beach area. It was a relocated nest, and we had 91 One eggs egg. of beach house. About how many yards would you say? I'd say 50. 50 yards. South Carolina United Turtle Enthusiasts. That's what SCOOT stands for. And the Are scoot, you a SCOOT person? I am a SCOOT person. And this is what a SCOOT looks like. Yeah. Oh. We just <laughs> relocated a turtle nest. Just relocated a turtle nest. Yeah. Wow.